Radiation oncology is the use of x-rays and other types of radiation to treat cancer. A lot of people don't know what it involves, so we asked some professionals, what would happen if I was a patient in your hospital? If you were a patient coming to see me, I would first of all explain um, that the, uh, the whole patient experience starts off with a long patient consultation with me, the radiation oncologist, and during that consultation I will take your full medical history um, as well as uh, really focus on the cancer diagnosis, how it came about, which tests you've had, what the results have shown and where we're up to at the moment. One thing I tell all of my patients when I meet them for the first time is that with their permission I would like to discuss their case at a multidisciplinary meeting and many patients find that very reassuring knowing that it's not just me recommending a certain uh, path of treatment, it's the whole team recommending the treatment. Then I will discuss with you very specifically my recommendation for radiation therapy. I'll talk about the rationale for recommending it, uh, the logistics of treatment and the potential side effects that the treatment may cause. Um, from that point then I will arrange for you to have a radiation planning appointment. So after you've seen your oncologist they will hand us a prescription and um, define the area that we'll be treating for you. So we'll call you up and organise a CT scan with you. For your CT scan, we need to create a position for you to lie in that can be reproduced when you come back for your treatment. So we'll probably get you lying down, we'll take lots of measurements and we might even create a device to help you stay still. The CT scan that we would be taking at your planning session is an important aspect of, of planning the treatment. It helps us to map out the uh, radiation therapy exactly tailored to you. It helps us to visualise all of the tissues in your body that we don't want to treat, but it also helps us to visualise the target of treatment. The scan itself is very quick. We leave this room for the scan and we're back in before you know it. After that appointment you go home and then behind the scenes a lot of work takes place. Um, that work involves um, the expertise of not just the radiation, on, uh, radiation therapist and the radiation oncologist, but also the radiation physicists. So radiation oncology and medical physicists are the behind the scenes crew, you'll rarely see us. Occasionally we will meet patients, um, but we're really working behind the scenes to make sure that every step of your treatment is safe and accurate. So we take that scan and we load it onto our planning computer. The doctors will highlight the areas that we want to treat and also the areas that we don't want to treat. And it's up to us to create a plan that's tailored to you. We then collaborate with the physicists um, and the doctor and make sure that the treatment will be very accurate. Once your plan is generated, it's then sent to the, automatically to the treatment machine. Before it goes to the treatment machine, we will have done lots and lots of checks on this plan. Uh, once that plan is generated and approved, then um, the radiation therapy treatment starts to take place. That course of treatment may be from uh, one treatment and it, or it may go right through to eight weeks of treatment. So during that whole time, each day you're coming in, you'd be seeing the radiation therapist and they'd be looking after you and delivering your treatment. You'll really get to know your radiation therapists and we'll be constantly keeping an eye out for you. So if you feel like anything's changing, just let us know and we can send you off to the doctor or the nurse and they can check it out for you. We're constantly testing the machine during that time to make sure that it's still behaving accurately. Um, depending on what kind of treatment you're having, you may, you may see us, you may not, but we're always there behind the scenes testing the machines and making sure they're accurate and safe. The treatment itself is very quick. Most of the time is spent with us setting you up in the correct position, the position that you were in for your CT scan. So we leave the room at the very end of treatment to turn the machine on, but you're not inside the room for very long by yourself. You don't feel anything during the radiation therapy treatment. You hear a slight buzzing noise, but you don't see anything and you definitely don't feel anything. At the end of all of that, we don't let you get very far and uh, we embark on a, a follow-up plan that is fairly intensive for the first few years and then less intensive up until about five years. And that's to ensure that you've coped very well with your treatment and that if you do happen to suffer from side effects, that they're well managed.